Okay, so in this latest video, I'm going to show you how to make your own beads if you don't have wooden ones. And what you'll need is a wooden skewer, just a little wooden skewer like you use in your kitchen, or a toothpick. I have a wooden skewer. It is about 15 centimeters long by oh three or four millimeters and that's going to be the inside for the hole and you can see I've already got a few started so let's get going now I have cut mine three centimeters long just three centimeters and I think that's about three quarters of a centimeter wide I think yep what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around my stick wrap the felt it's just ordinary white felt doesn't have to be great you can do it in just about any color scrap felt you've got now I do have wooden beads don't worry I have wooden beads but sometimes you run out of beads or you can't find the right size so what you do is you make them that's what stump work does you make do and I'm going to give it one good stitch there. Turn it a bit. Do another stitch. And turn. Do another stitch. Remember, you're going to be covering this most likely with some silk ribbon. Don't worry about getting it perfect, it just needs to be round enough. And there we go, and you slide it down and you start another one. Let's do that again. And you flip that around, stretch it a little. There we go, just like that. Fuzziness, fuzzy, fuzzy old pieces of felt. And I've got this all messed up again. That happens. Just untangle yourself and keep going. Hold that down and you make your stitch. So now you've got it good and stitched and continue on around. As I watch my monitor and my computer being a micro squish doesn't like its own camera program but it's the one I use because it's what I have and it came with the programming see there we go one more there we go you just slide it down the stick and keep going keep going and going and going Till your stick is full or you have to go get another stick and fill it too and you'll note that I am not cutting them apart because sometimes you just can't keep them coming and you don't want to lose them of course you're going to have little fluffy round things and if you've got a cat or a dog that absolutely cannot stop eating whatever they find on the floor having these all connected keeps them all in one spot and you can stick this sticks tip into a pin cushion or into a jar keep them safe there we go there see now that you've got these all stitched together, these lovely little beads, as you can see, there we go. Now, when you go to use them, you go snip. Ta-da! You snip that thing right on over there. And you now have a round hole bead 
what I felt. And I just so happened to have a small length of silk ribbon and go into the hole and you go through and make a loop because it does make it easier. Just make a small loop and you pull it tight-ish. There we go. Pull it tight-ish. And then while you've still got it under your fingers, you put it through again. And you're just going to continue wrapping around, making that lovely little wrapped bead. Now, I'm about as good at this today. This should give you an idea of how to get these to wrap. And while it's on the needle, I'm going to make it easier. And I'm going to pull it till, till it's there, pull it through, and I'll get nice and covered. And you just keep going around and around and around until you've got a ribbon wrapped bead. And you straighten it out. I'm sure there's a whole lot of better ways to do this, but this is basic stump work. Basic, basic stump work. There's no perfection whatsoever. There we go. Let's get that going. As I make a jumbled mess. There we go. And there, I've got a almost finished bead. And then we wrap that last little bit, as you can see, put it through, wrap it down, and hold it just so. And you don't have to worry about it being perfect. Most of the time, it works better. But today, today you can tell Tina is clumsy. There we go. Now, get this all neatened up. And wrapped over that last little bit there. And now, I've got a piece of fruit. Not so very well done, of course. There's going to be other people who can perfect this much better. But from a piece of felt wrapped around a skewer and stitched together, to that isn't much of a leap. So let's see me do that again. Hmm? This snip you don't need to take that much off. You can always stitch that down. And let's get another one. Let's see how well it does the second time around. Because if you know how to do something, you haven't done it in a while, it doesn't hurt to practice a bit before. Nobody's going to judge. And judgy people, well, we all know where judgy people can go. There we go. Get that going. And we bring it flat to the top. Rest your hands on the frame. Frames are okay for that. They're rather forgiving. If you've got shaky hands today. And we pull that flat. And then we straighten that out. And we roll it. Here we are. There we go. See, it goes better the second or third, fourth time around. It does that. There we go. 
get that there, pull that through, and there we go. See, almost done. And if you're worried, take this and bring it around, and bring this around till those are covered. There, see? Almost. They're just little fiddly bits. Just as fiddly as 